have another road trip planned. Um, so I thought I'd make another short video about it. Hopefully a little bit shorter than the snowboarding one this time because we're not going as far. We're going to travel to Normandy in uh, northwestern France and we're going to go on a ferry this time. So I figured um, it would be quite good fun to show the prep that we do and uh, trying to fit everything in Model S. This time, with it being a summer holiday, we're going to take some surfing equipment. So for us, that's boogie boards and short wetsuits. And we're also going to take our bicycles and they're going to go on a sucker roof rack up there on the glass roof. So my first job is actually cleaning my car because she's disgracefully dirty. So I'd better get to it. I don't know if how dirty she is is actually going to come out on this video terribly well, but I hope you can see this. There is kind of like dust and dirt all over her. She's absolutely filthy. I mean, just, just look at the dust on that roof. Absolutely disgraceful. All the farmers are harvesting. They're throwing lots and lots of dust up into the air. And uh, my car is just absolutely filthy. My first port call is snow foam. So let's get busy with snow foaming her. Now the trick is to let that soak a little bit and then hopefully all of that dust and grime and tree sap just washes straight off. Right, that's quite a bit cleaner. Next up, getting a dry. That's all that dust gone. Lovely, shiny, clean roof. Ready for the sucker system tomorrow. So here's our road trip plan. We're going from home down to Portsmouth, across on the ferry from Portsmouth to Cane, and then from Cane we're driving across west, taking in a couple of superchargers on the way, and our final destination is here, pretty much as far west as you can go, uh, on the Crozon Peninsula. And that's where we'll be spending our week. Okay, so we're about to start packing the car and we have quite a lot of stuff. I'm not sure it's all going to go in. Let me uh, turn the camera around and just show you. This is what we have in the hallway. These guys are going to go in the front and all of this is going to go in the boot. And this is the pile of stuff we've managed to accrue in the garage that needs to go in the car somewhere as well. And the bikes need to go on the roof. I'm not sure it's all going to go in, but I have my Jenga packing master that's going to do it for me. So this is the uh, Rock Bros Sucker. Uh, this is going to go on the roof. This is how I do this. I wet the suckers slightly, just so that they've got a little bit of extra friction on there. My other half is cleaning the car roof. So there we go, that's the suckers wet. Dave's giving the roof a quick clean to make sure it's super clean before we start. Line it up. Yeah. And then do the middle one first. I lean on it. Out. So now it's the front bit on. I'm going to load the bikes up on the forks and, uh, and we have a rear sucker that goes on there and the wheels balance on that. Here you go, there's uh, bikes on the sucker rack. There we go, all suckered in place. Uh, patented ingenious way of mounting the wheels. We've got some uh, pipe lagging and some double sided velcro. So we've got everything for all the bikes on the roof. Um, there we go. The 
a view of a, an EV with bikes on the roof, which is going to be a bit, bit of a novel thing, but there we go. So in the sub boot, we've managed to get some chairs, some toy soldiers, lots of charging cables, compressor, that's all going to go under the boot floor before we've even started packing the boot. Right, so that's uh, the sub boot packed. Now I'm onto the frunk. So I have uh, Oscar and Hamish frunk luggage, and uh, that is made to fit and is going in this space here. And there we go. Fits like a glove. So that's all loaded up, and I can shut the frunk again now. So now we've managed to get the uh, boogie boards and some toys and some more garden seats in and uh, suitcases. Well, we managed to get it all in. There we go. There's cases, there's beach stuff, there's uh, some food, there's more bags, there's all of the surfboards and uh, cycle crash helmets and everything all in the car. And there we go, will the boot shut? There we go, everything in for a week in France with the cycles as well. made it they're all on the roof still and uh, first supercharge and only supercharge in the UK so we're gonna fill up here overnight at um, Holiday Inn Express and then set off for the boat in the morning So that's our overnight stop. Uh, bikes are still on the roof. As you can see, we locked them all up with uh, a steel cable last night because the rock bros does not lock onto the car. So through there and uh, through the bike frames, that's quite effectively locked it. Um, and then I've used my. Uh, padlock that I use for locking my charging cable to lock it to uh, an alloy. Job done. Here we are at the uh, port at Portsmouth. Lots of other people all queuing up, ready to get on a boat. One thing that is quite funny is uh, we have to have an EV sign because. Uh, we're an EV and we're going on a boat. When you get on the ferry, they want you to switch off your um, car alarm and uh, tilt intrusion on a Tesla. So you've got security alarm and tilt intrusion and they're both kind of greyed out. You can't actually change the setting on them. To make you make it able to change those, you need to go and switch off 
sentry mode and then you can go and switch these off and that keeps the ferry people happy. Monson Michelle, bikes are still there, winning. Uh, not a lot here, there's a uh, Ibis, gonna go in search of a toilet in a minute. Um, apparently a very nice steak restaurant, but they don't open until seven o'clock and it's five o'clock, so we're too early. Um, motorway not too busy, quite a nice drive down. Hotel at St. Briac. So, second supercharger stop in France. Um, we are locking up the bikes with the uh, patented cable lock around the alloy and we are heading off for some dinner.
We got here last night, um, it was absolutely pouring down with rain and really, really dark, so we didn't get much of a look at the place, but uh, this is the, the house that we rented for the week. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. I've got uh, space for the two cars. Uh, we're in the woods, which is lovely. And uh, around the corner, There is a car charging point. It's uh, it's just a standard socket, but it's it's better than nothing. So we've used um, the Model 3's charging cable uh, UMC because uh, that's not bothered about the um, the polarity and whether there's an earth cable or not. Pool. And a barbecue and a glorious setting with the sun rising over there and uh, we're in the woods and it is so quiet it's lovely this is the like loungy family roomy bit and dining table and kitchen for anyone that's this way inclined, there is like a chaos of pipes and I think heat pumps and boilers and all sorts of stuff in this plant room. Um, lots and lots of fuse boxes and trip switches and stuff over there too. This is going upstairs. So it's an amazing staircase. And, I mean, this is like a kid's paradise. <sighs> and a view out of the window. Toilet. And a wet room, bathroom. Really quite a cool push button showers. I totally forgot to video the, the downstairs at the back of the house because that's where the bedrooms were but um, in behind the bedrooms there is also a hammam which was amazing uh, one of the best features of the house.
this is the back of the house. We've opened the pool up today. Got the pool sparkling away in the sunshine. And table. Lovely house. We're all about to take a dip. Bikes are all loaded up again. We're about to set off heading back to the UK. And that's it. We're all loaded up. The house is all empty. So we're at the Monster Michael Supercharger again. A little bit quieter today. There's just us guys on this side and a couple of people on that side. Because there is literally nothing here, we brought a packed lunch. So we've been uh, sitting in the car park eating our sandwiches. Uh, the bike's still on the roof. Everything looks fine up there. Uh, I think I'm averaging about 250. 260 watts per kilometer. I'll have to work out what that is in uh, watts per mile, but not terrible. So, this is a lovely sunny day today, a bit different from uh, the drive on the way down. Uh, we'll be off to Kane next, I think.
Can Kane? I don't quite how you say it. But anyway, it's in the grounds of the Ibis again, so it's fairly easy to find. Pretty big. I think there's 12 charges here in total. Um, they're all V2s. It's not the quickest, but yeah, plenty of them. It was empty when we got here. We've made it busy. It's nearly full again now. Last stop before the ferry, and then we're on the boat back to the UK. Right, so here we are at Westrum Port. Lights are on the roof stop. Everything's good there. And we're on the same boat that we came in on, the Mont St. Michael boat. And it's fairly busy. Lots of people here. So here we are on board the ferry. It's a little bit busy today. Look at all those cars. There's the view. And how many people forgot to turn off their car alarms? <laughs> Sunset going on right over my shoulder. I can zoom in a bit. Absolutely gorgeous colours. So that pretty much wraps up our uh, road trip through France and back again this summer. Um, it's been great, it was a lovely holiday, lovely house, um, beaches are fantastic, I definitely go back. I did realise when I was editing this video together, I totally forgot to um, video saint brieuc on the way back and that supercharger location is actually having another bank of, of superchargers put in so I think it's having the um, total capacity doubled, which is amazing. Um, and also, it was late at night when I needed to stop at Winchester on the way home, and I just plain forgot to uh, jump out and make a video. But Winchester also has a massive bank of superchargers, and um, it was really easy to get to. If you're enjoying watching my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up and a like. And uh, if you're looking at purchasing a Tesla, perhaps uh, use my referral code. If you're looking to switch energy provider, there's a referral code for Octopus down below. And um, if you're looking at getting into trading, there's also a trading 212 referral link down there too.